Hey everyone, Landsman Oz here and welcome to another first look game. This time it's a game by the name of Neon Noodles. So it was developed and published by Vivid Helix. Uh, it came to Steam on the 30th of November 2019. Uh, and it's kind of a programming type game. Uh, so I'll just read out the blurb. You're in charge of a futuristic kitchen operating in a mysterious cyberpunk world. Automate your robot chefs to cook recipes in perfectly elegant loops to create well-oiled machines that churn out dish after dish. It's a Zack-like. Uh, right, so I've played a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to hit level select and we're going to go back to level 1. And you can get an idea of what the game is. So, uh, here's the thing. You can um, you see down the bottom here we've got the actual instructions that the robots will do up in the top right up here is the goals and the uh, the actual recipes that they're doing so you can see here avocado on a cutting station so avocado on a cutting station equals sliced avocado which is what they need to make uh, if we push play this robot will do his little commands here and um, he'll, he'll go through so you get play he's picking it up he's turning around slicing it and delivering it that's one so, the more times it's successful, the faster the guy will go through it. Plain and simple. Level 1. Level 2. So, this is how we record our own. So, you can see here the tutorial. We've got to move our cursor over to the robot and uh, then click left button. We can record a program. And we click here. The guy moves forward. We click on the avocado producer to buy an avocado. We click here. Keep clicking until he makes it there. And then we click here to sell. And then return the bot to the starting position. And we push play. Cool. Sliced avocado and cut fish is this next level. So instant recipes. So if we move our cursor, you can see here the top bot will move forward to buy a fish. Turn once to, uh, I guess, his left. Place, uh, cut the thing twice and then turn and then move back and place the fish. Turn, turn and continue on. This is his starting position for number two. We're going to program the second robot. So we click on him. We're going to record. We want to move him forward, forward. We're going to buy an avocado. We're going to face this direction. We're going to bump the thing to slice it. We're going to bump it again to pick it up. One, two. We're going to place it. And then if we click this button, which will generate the commands needed to return to the start position. And then we can push play. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now we're starting to move on to uh, some newer recipes. Excuse me for coughing there. Okay, so if we, if we hit play now, it'll show you what the pre-recorded recipes are. And this guy is stuck. He is broken. So, edit the program for the first robot. Let's click on him and edit. So we can step him forward using this or pushing the V button. So he's picked one up. He's meant to move it down, and he's placed it. The rice boiling recipe is an automatic recipe. Rice on boiling station, then wait. Makes boiled rice. Insert a wait instruction. So we need to make him wait at this point, and then he'll pick it up, and he will continue on it. So we can hit play. He then waits for it to be cooked, etc. So he's good. So we need to stop 
and now we need to click in between the two consecutive star symbols in the second program here insert two more so you can see here the shrimp peeling recipe is a manual recipe so it's not one you have to wait for um, you've got to put it on and then you've got to bump it twice so we need to add two more bump bump and hit play so he goes bump uh, yeah so he's pretty much puts it down bumps it twice and then picks it back up again all right you can see i can i've played a level here i'm gonna start from here and we're going to create our first setup from scratch we're going to open the menu we're going to put down a shrimp producer we're going to place a cutting station and we're going to place a peeled shrimp consumer our robot is going to go here and we're going to open him we're going to make him face this direction and then we're going to edit his program and your recipe requires two generic conditions to make the program should have four generic actions on the cutting station so put down make make pick up so we can go click pick it up one two three four place and then if i do the returns a start and then go play ah and there you go uh level six now this recipe requires both ingredients to be placed on the boiling station okay this recipe before waiting three times uh okay that one that one that one let's try something okay so we've added all the thing we're going to put our robot here he's going to be facing left uh, sorry he should be facing up i think so our recipe okay let me just close this one click on him and go edit okay we want to pick up this place it there pick up this place it there and then we've got wait 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 and then bump place and then back to start oh, i hit play on this hopefully i got this right i did hey the robot doesn't even need to move so we uh Instagrams show your scores compared to other players' scores. Each bar represents a group of similar scores. Your current score belongs to the group represented by the white bar. So I did it in less cycles than average. So average is this big bar here. Uh, 12 programs, that's pretty much the same. And one bot. One bot area, so it's rectangular, so there's only one. Eh, okay, cool. I, th I don't think we're going to make it. Look at this. How did someone do it in 10 cycles? Did they put two bots down? Interesting. Let's go back to the menu. Let's go... Level 7. Time to make some sushi. So we've got some recipes up here. Uh, rice pot. Okay, so we need to add, let's work from the back, is the delivery. This is where they deliver. Um, so we need to cook rice, and then we need to cut fish, and we need to take the boiled rice and the cut fish, 
and it makes nigiri. So if we do it with one robot, I guess. So we need to go uh, buy rice. That, wait, and then he'll pick that up. Place it where? How does this one work? Oh, we need a rolling station. Okay. Then we have another one which is flying fish. Fish needs a cutting station. Then we need a rolling station. Okay, let's put the robot here. He's going to be facing that way. Let's edit him. So, he wants to pick up the rice. Put it in here. Wait. And then pick that up. Place it there. Now he wants to come back here. Pick that up. Place it here. Pick it up. Place it here. Action, pick up, place. Play. Hey, well done. Now I could probably make that smaller by moving the rolling station and stuff together. So number of cycles is, I'm sort of in the average area. Uh, program size is fairly small. Um, so, but still, I'm in average and the bot area is average. I mean, we could, as I said, go back to editing. We could move, say this guy, place him there, move this to here. And then let's, let's redo the whole recipe. We'll go back. So he's just picked up the rice and we're going to place it there and then we're going to come here let's try that okay cool so a little bit shorter it's not amazing, but um, slightly more cycles. That's interesting. So, oh no, we were here before, weren't we? So we've we've gotten a little bit less, uh, and we're still program size, still about the same, and still got the same area of bots. So the bot had to traverse two spots. That's why we've got the the two. All right. So that wasn't too bad. Let's make some quiche. Linking allows you to share programs between robots. When optimizing for program size, linked programs only count half their size. Okay, so we need to make water and flour on a rolling station with two actions makes a dough. Mushrooms on a cutting station makes cut mushroom. And then dough and milk and egg and cut mushroom on baking station. Two weights makes quiche. Oh my gosh. So I guess water, flour, rolling station. Table? <laughs> um and then we want probably mushroom dicing table and then ish unless I make I don't know what we probably want
Okay, so they're gonna be the the bot's gonna be. Uh, no, see, this isn't gonna work. We're gonna have two things sitting on the table. Um. Let's move this here, there, and then put another table. And this is where the dough is going to be. This is where the cut mushroom is going to be. We're going to have a bot there, and we're going to have a bot here. Um, and then we're going to have something picking up. Egg, milk, those two, and... Oh, I can't do that there. I need to go oven. Delivery. What's the rolling one for? Okay, so cool. So if I go... Let's put a bot here. How do you link the two together, though? Oh, I guess you need to have a particular bot starting in a particular spot. So you... Let's edit you and go mushroom, done, done, place. Okay. Okay. Two, we're going to edit you, we're going to go you. One, two, one, two, one, two there okay and I guess I don't know how the linking piece works you my link well, he's gonna do the same thing then let's just go edit oh, I don't want to wait back we are gonna go Egg in and then two weights and pick it up. Let's see what it does. Ah, see, I forgot to pick it up. Yep, yeah, okay. Stop. Robot 2 needs an edit. Robot 2, we're going to edit. We're going to step through his... No, I don't want to move the cursor cut. Right, I want to step through. How do I step through? Okay, we want to go back. So he's picking up the water and he's putting it down and then he's doing two action okay I need to put one more action in okay, let's try that now oh, he gets stuck and yeah, they all get stuck <laughs> Oh my gosh. He gets a little confused. Whoops. And now he's completely stuffed up. Okay, that didn't work. So how do we make you wait? So I kind of need you... Let's let's check this out. We need you to wait while old mate gets through his steps. So you actually needed to have waited. Let's um stop. You edit. I need you to wait. Okay. What happens if we then do that? 
no, he still hasn't picked it up. So I actually need you to wait until you're picking up the mushroom. Stop. So he's taken the milk and he's come back to this table here. Which table is he doing first? First table is the dough, second table is the mushroom. Okay, so you need to wait till there. You need to wait until at least there. Let's try that. Oh, and the egg guy's gotten confused because you know why? Stop. Go. You go right to the end of your 40. I didn't put in that. Cool. Yeah, so I still haven't got it right. Hmm. Interesting. So, how do we link? What's this link piece? <coughs> if I... this guy can we can we link him to like him somehow how does that work how does That's returning to the start. No. Wait. Okay. Link. I want to link to like there. No, oh, see, so it just gives him the same recipe. Okay. Let's, um, what about we, if we have them all delivered to the oven and put the oven in the middle? Oh, try again. And I want to, uh, I want to delete all. If we go put the oven in the middle. And we have a bot here, a bot here, a bot here, and a bot here. It's probably still not going to work, is it? I'm very close to just doing it with one bot. I'm trying to make it so it links up, and this is going to do my head in. Because um, ideally you could have it wait and then try and pick up. No, let's... Let's not. Let's just go, you know what? Let's go eggs, water, the rolling station, mushroom, cutting station. That's, uh, That should be flour. This should be egg. Uh, milk. Oven. All right, ready? that there that one Pick. 
two. You, you, you. Two there, and then this, 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 this. Uh, wait, wait. This here. And go. No, oh, I didn't pick it up. So stop. Come back to here and do one more. Let's try again. Okay, cool. Now he's chopping the mushrooms. Egg. Milk. Wait. Done. Hot collision. Cool. Stop. Go right to the end, please. Okay, and then add the return. So you can see there's there's many different ways of writing this cycle, of writing the code for this. Now, as you saw, I was trying to do it with the other bots. I just don't know how to link together properly. That's something that I could potentially learn how to do. Uh, you could probably space things a little differently. I could maybe put, you know, um, things in a different spot on the on the belt here, for example, on on the plate. Um, but this this is my solution for now. It's going to be terrible. I'm going to be really low down on the on the scores. I think actually not that bad. Program size is quite small. <laughs> Bot area of four. Um, and look, cycles are third, so to speak, but not terrible. Um, but yeah, so that's a good intro to Neon Noodles. Uh, links, as always, will be down below in the description. Uh, if you like the look of the game and you're into this sort of um, programming style uh, system, then by all means, go and check it out. Uh, as, let's just have a real quick look here. It's currently sitting at... And I can only give you Australian dollars. It's currently nineteen dollars thirty-five of a normal price of twenty-one dollars, um, and that is Australian. So please, wherever you are in the world, it will be localized for yourself. Um, go and check it out. I believe there is a demo on the Steam page. It is in early access, and um, yep, Neon Noodles, developed by Vivid Helix. Go and check it out. Thanks for watching. Comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye now.